Welcome to Soto Creations where we make your imagination a reality. Today we're gonna make a pot of gold. We'll figure out how to make this. I'll have to do a voiceover because it's a little bit loud tonight. Oliver and Olivia are feeling a lot better, thank God. So they are playing and having fun. So it'll be hard for me to really explain with them in the background. So we're gonna figure out how to make a pot of gold. We have our rainbow. If you did not see this tutorial, please, I'll have it linked down below and you can watch how I put this together. But let's figure out how we can make a pot of, big pot of gold. We are going to start by inflating five inch balloons in black. Some people do their pot of gold green. Some people like it in black. I was doing this also in relation to St. Patrick's Day, but I figured a pot of gold you can use for several different decor ideas. So when you inflate your five inch balloons, you create a quad. So you twist them to make four balloons. This is a 17 inch black. They're both onyx black. And I'm going to use the neck of that 17 inch. Just wrap my five inch necks around the neck of the 17 inch so that it's nice and secure. And it creates a base for my pot of gold. Now, later on in the video, I'll show you that this is quite unsteady and I end up adding a support on the bottom so that the pot of gold can stand on its own without being held. Now I have two 60 cube balloons. I tried one and it was defective, so I had to grab another one. And these are brand new. So you inflate a 260 cube, not all the way. You want to leave a bit of the tip so that you can tie the ends together. So I have the tip there that's long enough. I just tie that around the, I guess, neck, considered neck part of the 260 Q. I'm just estimating where all the, where I need to place all my glue dots. I'm putting glue dots all around so that I'll secure this as the rim of my pot of gold. So you can see where I'm making adjustments. I also noticed that I can't lift up the balloon once it's glued down to slide glue dots through in spots that don't have enough. So I decide here to just go around the whole ring and put glue dots as many places as I can. And I'll show you a close up here soon. So you can kind of see where the glue dots are all around. And you want to be careful with this part. Just make sure it's nice and centered and push down. The glue dots hold pretty well. This 260 cube balloon is thin enough that the glue dots work well on it. But the 17 inch balloon is a lot thicker. So later you see how my gold balloons don't adhere as well to the 17 inch balloon the gold balloons are pretty thick as well so it makes it hard for them to stick so i technically did not align my 260q as well but the design turns out well you just want to make sure that you align everything well what i'm doing now is creating quads with the gold balloons i'll use that as my base then add single gold balloons in spaces that I have holes so you want to just twist that then keep adding as you go but with the pot of gold you don't have to be very but what am I trying to say you don't have to be perfect on placing the gold because it's a pot of gold you just have it overflowing some people use a gold to 260 Q and they twisted in several so they inflate it all the way and then they twist it in little circles and that's what they use as their gold but i decided this was easier for me to do initially i'm positioning my quads so that it fills the base and then later i'll go in with the single gold balloons 
to just fill in all the gaps. You notice where, as I said, the glue dots don't stick as well to the black 17 inch balloon. I really need to take time and invest in one of the low temperature hot glue guns. I have the high temperature ones, but I've heard people like the low temperature hot glue guns for balloons and I haven't tried it, but I think I need to so that I can it, it's probably a lot faster than trying to get glue dots off the paper. So I'll try those. Eventually, I discovered that if I attach the gold to the rim, which is that 260Q I attach, they hold a lot better. So that's another option for you there. You just attach the, co the ones on the corners and they stay well. One other thing is you want to be patient and hold down the balloon once you attach the glue dot so that it actually stays in place so that you can see the gaps since that gap is a good size I decide to create another quad to see if I can fill it well maybe two balloons but I'm doing that right now and I'll just fill up the rest and you'll have the pot of gold another thing that you want to make sure to do if you want to do something different is you can create your stand a lot bigger so you could use I made my stand four inches tall I when I, by stand I mean the base of the the pot of gold the four balloons I put as the base you could make that six inches instead for this size of pot of gold because I have quite a big pot of gold so I could have made the base to be about six inches big. So then you can use a 10 inch balloon to create the six inch, but I didn't have a 10 inch. So you see how it's falling over. I don't want that falling over like that. So I end up putting a weight on the bottom to just hold it in place. So adding a couple more glue dots to secure it and then I will create my base. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It really, really supports my channel. And if you've been watching, I appreciate you. If you've already subscribed, thank you. Thank you. I will post a lot more videos coming up in the near future. So enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much.